Right, we're looking at advanced bench joinery students and independent learners setting out for this half scale model kite winder staircase. Hopefully, after you've finished, you'll be able to set out the stairs and make these tread and wedge, riser and wedge, no string templates, and a pitch board as shown there on the screen. Make sure you get the margin right on the pitch board. While you're using this video, you may need to pause it to, uh, to be able to read some of the instructions that are on the screen. Or you could watch it more than once. One of the first things we need to do is we need to think about where all, all the resources that we need. The links below, in the description below, will point you to some of the resources that you can use. What are these resources that are available? Well, there is a 3D model of the stirs in the 3D warehouse where you can interrogate each piece. Uh, every piece is on its own layer and you can actually identify each piece. It's quite handy when you're setting out the new post, especially when you're looking at the face side and face edges. Also, on the Martin Reed Joinery website, in the stirs section, there is actually a, a section for setting out these turning staircases. And if you go into that, you'll see that everything we're about to do is laid out in that section. And at the bottom, there's a, a pop-out booklet so you can print or pop it out and then print it so that you've got these notes to hand while you're trying to set it out or while you're even following this video. So if we go back to the top and we come out of this back to the uh, uh, the stirs section, you'll see there that uh, you can pop out any of these. You could pop out the setting out and the actual manufacture, but that's not the purpose of this video, of course. So in preparation for setting out these stirs, you'll need a board. If you tape two lots of lining paper onto a board, 2 meters long by 1100 millimeters wide, you'll have enough there for to work in pairs and for one pair to set out a plan and the upper wall string and the other pair to set out the plan and the lower wall string uh, that you'll see coming up in a minute. And that way you can work in pairs. The first step in doing this is to determine the rise and the going. How do we know what to do? We need the building regs. You can download the building regs or read them on site, online, and they will show you the, uh, the maximum and minimum rise and going for different situations. We, of course, are doing a private stir, so we've got a maximum rise of 220 and a minimum going of 220, but we're actually working half scale of those, so we're going to use a 90 rise and 110 going. The next thing to do is to start to set out the uh, the the, uh, the strings on the drawing. Set out the wall strings, and then position the uh, null strings, the width of the stirs apart. That's 350 mil, and the centre of those where they intersect gives you the first null post. The face of the riser is always in the centre of the null post, so we can we can position the tapered steps. As they, as they were on that drawing, and then we can set out the remaining goings, remembering that the face of the riser is in the centre of the null, so that positions those upper and lower null, pay, null posts. Again, you can pause this video if you want to, if this is going through quite quickly. The next thing to do is to set out the upper wall string, so one pair will set this out, and to do that, you set out from the face of the risers, horizontally across, and then you set out the risers to get you the margin line, and then you can offset from your margin line. I'll show you that in a second when I uh, set out the uh, null strings. The other pair, they'll set out the lower wall string. The principle's the same. You come off the face of the risers down, and then you step up the risers to get the margin line, and then you step off the margin line. Okay, and again, like I say, you can pause this video at any time to read what's actually on the screen. I'm just going to go through an example here of setting out one of the null strings so that you'll see how you can, how, what you should be doing when you're setting it out on the, uh, on your board. 
The first thing is to set out a rise and a going. Now I've put 95 on the screen there, but actually the rise is 90 and the going is 110. That gives us just over a 39 degree pitch for the stirs. So I'm setting out three steps. 90 mil, 90 mil, 90 mil. Uh, and I'm going to set out three risers. I can, I'll bring, I'll drag that up to the top. I'll uh, do this one. These are 110 apart. I'll drag that up to the top. And this one, the next one, is going to be dotted because this is going to be the centre of the lower newel post. Uh, and the face of the rise is in the centre of the newel. So I'll make that dotted because that's going to be the centre of the newel post. I'm just going to trim these off now because they're easier to see if I trim them off. And that's why when you do your settings out, work with faint lines and then you can line in the bits that you want and you'll not be able to see your faint lines as much. Here I can just trim them off. I'm going to trim them off and then I'm going to uh, join together the intersections between the rise and the going to get my margin line. I think I'll do it in dotted, so how it'll come up in dotted. So I'll join from the top there to the intersection there and that is my margin line. So I can offset off that 20 millimeters will give me my uh, top of my newel string. Uh, 20 mil offset. 20 mil. That gives me the top of the uh, newel string. And if I offset now uh, 110 millimeters, that gives me the bottom of the newel string. Um, I'll trim those to length in a second. The next thing to do is to try and put the newel posts on, remembering that the face of the rise is in the centre of the newel. So we'll do the bottom one first. If I offset from that centre line, 22.5 millimetres, that is there the position of the bottom newel post. The top one's a bit trickier. The top one I need to refer back to my plan. You'll have done this plan by now. So I can, uh, I can look at that plan and I can see that from the face of the new post to the face of the riser is 10 mil. So if I offset this line 10 millimeters, um, offset up that way, that's it. That's the face of the riser. So if I offset that line 45 millimeters, that is the position of the top new post or the middle new post to be another new post actually higher up. So that's the center new. I'll drag those down to the bottom to the floor. And I'll just drag them up a little bit higher so that they clear the uh, the newel string. So that is partly set out. I need to trim it up a little bit. But the next thing you'll do is you'll get your templates that you've made and that you, we saw earlier in the video. I've got uh, a representation of my templates here. I'll uh, just pick that template up. I'll try and get it at the end of that line there. That's it. And I'll try and drop those on. You'll be doing this with an actual template. And you'll be drawing around a template on your setting out. I'm going to try and drop that on. Oh, just can't quite get that. Yeah, I need to pick this up again, I think. And pick it up uh, a bit better than I picked it up there. We'll just go again. And I want to make sure I get the end of that. That's it. The end of that line. That'll be better this time. And I can drop that on there. That's it. And then one at the bottom here, uh, the nosing's actually in the newel post, so you'll be setting this out in the newel post. When you see the newel post setting out, the part of that's in the newel post. And then the top one will go there. Looks a little bit untidy at the moment, so I'll just tidy this up a little bit to make it look a little bit neater. Uh, you might leave all these lines on, because if you draw faint, uh, then you just line in the lines that you want and you will uh, you can just leave all the other lines. But I'll just uh, tidy this up a little bit. I'll trim those off there. Come back to the top. That's it. And I think I'll trim those off to the centre of the new post there. Yep. Extend that line to there. Trim this off there. And there. See if I can't delete that surplus line that's at the back there. And I'm just trying to to neaten it up uh, to make it look a bit neater for myself. So that if I print it, I haven't got lines all over the place that I don't want. I think I can delete that. And I think I can delete that wedge altogether. I don't particularly need that in. And I don't need that wedge at the bottom there. So I'll delete that as well. Uh, so what I need to do now is I need to think about the tenon. On the setting out paper that you're going to print and you're going to see, it'll give you all the details for this tenon. I've got it drawn there. I'll just drag that tenon across and attach it to the end of the uh, new string 
and uh, I'll I'll take the top one and I'll join I'll pick it up from the corner there and I'll drop that on the uh, on the top of the string there. I'll just uh, trim these lines off to uh, trim them off at the corner there. That's it. And then we'll trim the top one off. Connect to there. Trim it off there. That's fine. Now we'll just uh, highlight these lines a little bit. I'll join them all together and highlight them a bit. So I'll highlight that. Uh, highlight that. Go to the top. Join that line together. And that's it. So that's the uh, bottom null string set out. You'll need to do the same for the upper null string. And you'll have the drawing uh, like that that you can print and you've, uh, you'll be able to set it out. All the details are on it and everything you need on it to uh, set it out. You'll of course have made your templates. Don't forget you'll have to make your templates because you're going to draw around your templates and uh, get them set out. There's a, an example again of the templates. The tread and riser, sorry, tread and wedge, riser and wedge, pitch board, and a, uh, that's the lower null string there because you can see how it's cut off against the floor. Remember, you can pause this video at any time to uh, read what's on the screen. The next thing to do is to set out the uh, the null posts. Now, a lot of people don't like to set out null posts on paper because I think they don't understand it. So they try to do it first time straight out onto the timber, and that's when they make the mistakes. I would suggest that if you're learning, the best thing to do is to set them out like I've got here, full size or to scale, because the important thing is to make sure you've got the faces and the edges on the right pieces, and then you lay the foot, you lay the pieces out flat on the on the paper, and then you can work out from the face of the riser in the centre of the newel. You can count up the newel post from the count up the steps from the bottom of the newel post, and that will position the te the tenon and everything to, to set it out. The next thing to do is to set out the tapered steps. Again, you can set these out full size. I think they go quite easily on a 450 square board. Uh, and you can show the housing, you can show how they're notched in, everything. So that when you come to mark them out on your boards, you've got everything set out and everything working together. So that everything's ready to go. You'll see on the models that I've got on the screen, I've left the easings on. And you want to leave those, you, you leave those on as long as you can, and then any short grain, particularly on that top wall string, doesn't uh, doesn't end up being broken off. And you cut them off just before you glue them together with the with the bandsaw. Uh, so we're getting towards the end here. That's about everything you need. You've got the links in the description below. You've got access to the uh, website information. So best of luck with it. If you need anything. On the website, you've got uh, some contact information. I remember when Chris and John.